Hey, John. I ever tell you about my cousin from the Bronx, Nikki? No, you didn't. You know he went to high school with Derek Jeter? No shit. You would not believe it. He was a total sissy. What? He Derek was... Jeter, man. He turned his life hey, around. Are you still talking about the Yankees again? Fuck the Yankees. That's hey, the rest hey, of hey, Let's go soft. Hey, 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 go home. Go Yankees. Yeah, but how about them Yankees though this year? They're doing pretty well, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think we have a real sh we have a shot to make it. We yeah, really man. do. Yeah. Yeah. Here comes Charles Katz walking up to the phone booth to place an illegal bet. Bobby. Yeah, hey, Bobby, it's Katz. How you doing? Ah, I'm good. How's the family? How's your daughter? Was she getting married again? August. Ah, that's good. I'll be sure to send a gift. Hey, uh, I'm calling. Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna bet on the Yankee. Get. I got Yankees in six. Rivera's gone. Or Rivera's last year. He's gonna kill it. And Jeter, he's playing hot, baby. Yeah, ten thousand. All right. Have a good day. All right. Hey, Jackie, your boy Pete's a real jackass. You know that? I cannot put up with anybody who likes the socks. They suck. But you know what I heard? What? His wife. That doesn't have any legs. Can you believe that? Oh, okay. Hey, fellas, what you talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. What's up, Pete? Well, uh, I got a little message from our friend, the DA. He said, uh, he wants you guys to look in into some illegal gambling that's going on downtown. A guy by the name of Katz. He's a real shady guy. You might want to check it out. Oh man, now we actually got to do work. Damn, but thanks for telling us. Our FBI agents left directly thereafter to complete the brilliant plan of planting a digital recording device on the phone booth. Right Let's go before it comes back. Good, 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 good. Hey, test it out for me. See if it works. Test one, test two. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, doo doo, how are you? Nah, I'm not too bad. Hey, I heard you went to Bermuda for your anniversary. How about that, huh? Hey, Andy was looking right in that bikini. I'm just getting easy, easy, easy. Hey, uh, hey, John. Yeah. You ever, you ever play the game Ruzzle? Oh, no. What, what's good about it, huh? I, uh, I just got 70 points for the word nipple. Oh, that's a great word right there, man. Oh, oh my gosh. What is it? What is it, Jackie? It's cats. No. Let's go. Oh, we got him. Let's we go. got him. Let's, Let's go, baby. It's game time. I'm calling. Yeah, you know. The Buckos, baby. And yeah, they can't lose, baby. That hurdle, baby, he's a man. Yep, yeah, yeah. Give me 10 thou. Why not? I, I one big with the Yanks. All right, doo-doo. See you later. All right, bye-bye. Obviously, I'm not in the best position right now, but uh, I think that my rights were violated. I closed the door in that phone booth. I had a right to privacy. They violated my Fourth Amendment rights. And I'm going to take those dirty, dirty feds to court and take them to the bank. What do you say? It's a clever argument. All rise for the Honorable Court of Appeals Judge Seymour Butts. Please sit down. <clears throat> <clears throat> Will the defendant please
please rise. We find the Federal Bureau of Investigation to be not guilty in the claim of unreasonable searches and seizures. Yes! Because no physical search actually occurred. Seymour, you stupid mother! Yes, if you could please state your case. Your Honor, I believe that my Fourth Amendment rights were violated when the FBI tapped into my phone booth. I had the door closed and I wanted to keep it a private conversation, and they did not have the right to tap my phone conversation without a warrant or my consent. Thank you. If you would please do the same. Chief Justice Warren, as the FBI, we do not need a search warrant to go into his phone booth because there was no physical intrusion, and thus, it was not an actual search and seizure. Thank you. Would you all please rise for Earl Warren, Chief Justice of the United States. Please be seated. In a 7-1 to one decision, with the exclusion of Justice Marshall's vote, we, the Supreme Court of the United States, find the defendant guilty of unreasonable search and seizure. No! I, Justice John Harlan, write in the concurring opinion that an enclosed telephone booth is an area where, like a home and unlike a field, a person has a constitutionally protected reasonable expectation of privacy, that electronic as well as physical intrusion into a place that is, in this sense, private, may constitute a violation of the Fourth Amendment, and that invasion of a constitutionally protected area by federal authorities is, as the court had long held, presumptively unreasonable in the absence of a search warrant. That is why we, the, Sup the Supreme Court of the United States, find the defendant guilty. My dissent on the majority opinion is based on these arguments. Firstly, the Fourth Amendment as a whole was written in order to protect only things from physical search and seizure. It was not meant to protect personal privacy. Additionally, the modern act of wiretapping is analogous to the act of eavesdropping, which is not expressly forbidden in the Constitution. Oh, hello there. Thanks for watching our reenactment of Cats v. United States. The Supreme Court case sheds a light on the government's stance on a number of important issues. This case suggested that a right to privacy, which was not previously acknowledged, was becoming recognized much more frequently. The Justice's decision shows the growing tendency of the Supreme Court to side with citizens in civil liberties cases. Finally, Katz v. United States blurred the definition of what constitutes a search opening the door for increased judicial activism on the matter in subsequent years. Thank you.